And it is it getting is madder madness. by the minute. <laughs> they have done it before. There was every reason to believe Loyola could do it again. It was one year ago Monday at the Ramblers' stunned number one seed Illinois in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Today they were facing another Big Ten team, Ohio State, a seventh seed that had lost four of its last five games. First tournament as a head coach for Drew Valentine. His Ramblers struggled from the field when they did make a play like this steal by Lucas Williamson. They couldn't finish, missing 14 of 18 layups. And at the other end, Buckeye star E.J. Liddell, a two-time Mr. Basketball in Illinois, made him pay. He scored 16, and this baseline jumper helping the Buckeyes build a double-digit lead in the second half. The Ramblers ended up with a season low for points while shooting just 27%, going 3 for 10 on free throws. The Buckeyes knock out the Ramblers 54-41, a tough end to another good season. The program's in a lot better spot than it was, you know, when, when a lot of these guys got here five years ago. Proud of our group, but, you know, obviously today we really struggled offensively, um, making shots, free throws, thought we had too many turnovers. But some other area teams to pull for. Illinois underway in Pittsburgh against Chattanooga, trailing the mox 27-18. And Notre Dame is into the second round. The 11th seeded Irish, who had a quick turnaround with a double overtime win in Dayton that ended early yesterday, an overnight flight to San Diego, and then a win today over six seed Alabama, 78 64, behind 29 from Cormac Ryan, sending them on to face Texas Tech on Sunday. It's a great feeling. And to, to be able to, to win the game like that, to, to be able to grit it out, you know, people were saying, Double overtime, long flight, legs are going to be tired, and man, we were, we were gunning and we were ready to go. The Bears had planned to introduce free agent acquisition with Larry Ogunjobi today, but the former Browns and Bengals defensive tackle won't be joining them after all. New GM Ryan Poles announcing that Ogunjobi failed his physical, and thus the team will not sign him to a three-year, $40 million contract. They did announce two more free agents, defensive lineman Justin Jones and former Notre Dame and Packers receiver Equinemius St. Brown. And yet another star quarterback on the move. Cleveland expected to get Deshaun Watson from Houston for three first-round picks and a five-year, $230 million contract. Watson sat out last season with Houston after being accused in 22 lawsuits of sexual assault, but a grand jury chose not to indict him. And the Blackhawks made it clear the rebuild is on forward. Brandon Hagel traded today to the Lightning for two first-round picks and two rookies, and trade deadline is until Monday. Team is taking shape. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave. A car slams into a house on the city's northwest side. The extensive damage the homeowner now has to deal with. Also, Tom Skilling lets us know when the rain's going to stop. Hey, Illinois.